Hi, I'm so glad you decided to take out five minutes of your time to watch this video and learn something new. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe button for more videos from me. I'm Shivraj Prashad. I'm a public communication and executive life coach, soft skills trainer and podcaster and presenter. Recently, I put up this post across my social media asking that if you had three questions, you could ask your pet what they might be. And I received an overwhelming response. Clearly, I'm not alone or going gaga when I talk to my pet. Which made me think there must be a rationale or even benefit. So I decided to open up my public speaking toolbox to give you two reasons why it actually helps to talk to animals and come across as a calm, composed and empathetic public speaker. Now, don't forget to watch the video till the end as I plan to give a shout out to all of those who responded to my post. Let's begin. Studies have shown that being in the proximity of animals or pets has a great effect on elevating your happy hormones, that is dopamine or serotonin. Addressing a friendly and non-judgmental canine can lower blood pressure, decrease stress and elevate your mood perfect for practicing your speech or team presentation. In short, speaking to your pet can in fact help with speech anxiety. Sometimes it makes you smile when talking to them. That gives you a chance to step back from your presentation, step out of that track you get stuck in and center yourself emotionally. Now let's try something. Here's me talking to my dog, Joey. Watch for his reaction. Hi, Joey. How are you doing? Joey, do you want to go meet the girls? Do you want to go meet the girls? Cute, right? But also go back and look at how he responded. Animals are intuitive and far more sensitive than we are to changes in tone and mood. They are, after all, survival animals and in tune with their environment. And that brings me to the second advantage of talking to your pet. You can practice changes in tone vocal variety and how to stop droning on and really connect with audiences. Try this sometime. Give a speech while solely focusing on tonality. Try it on your dog. If you can keep your dog engaged for 60 seconds, you know your tonality is on point. Try it and do let me know how that worked out. Like I promised, I do want to give a special shout out to all those who responded to this social media post. Here goes. Let's begin with this response from Arjun Khanna on my post on Twitter. On Instagram, this response from Wondering Aloud. Followed by a flurry of messages in response from Preeti Setya. And then Shuttapa and Shekhar Rinso. And spinning off from Instagram, I got this message on WhatsApp from a dear, dear friend, Arjuna, who said she wouldn't just want to ask her puppy these questions, but she'd also like to share the post with other building pet owners so that they can also comment as well. On Facebook, I also received a response from Kunika Seth, clearly asking very pointed questions from her pet. Now, if you have questions for me on what more I can do to help you with your public speaking or presentation skills, you can begin by writing to me at shivraj at brevis.in and we can discuss your challenges and goals and how we can work together to overcome them. What are you waiting for? Write to me. Until then, stay safe and stay touched.